Well, it is a story that affects almost everyone. Cancer, specifically childhood cancer. And Chris, according to the government, almost 16,000 children and teens will be diagnosed this year. Almost 2,000 will die. All of them face a tough fight, including one little boy in Stowe, who, according to our Dave Arnold, is getting a lot of love and support from his classmates. This was an especially emotional day for Woodward Elementary School's courageous Keith. This was the eight-year-old's first chance this school year to see his friends since his cancer treatments sidelined him last summer. When they tell you that your child has cancer, you feel like your heart's outside your body and you feel like you can't breathe. Today, Keith's mom, Taylor Stolfo, and her parents recalled the tragic Christmas Eve 2011 when the family first learned they were on their way to years of cancer treatment and survival for Keith. You know, a parent's always supposed to be there. They're supposed to be a rock for their child, and it's really inspiring but hard at the same time to have your child be your rock. Because when he's okay, I'm okay. And just to see him smile, he's amazing. He's inspiring. I mean, I want everybody to know who Courageous Keith is. I gave him that name because he is every bit of that and more. I have the pocket edition. You have the pocket edition. So do you bring it with you when you go to your treatments? Yeah, cool. Melissa Polkel taught Keith last year when his seat went empty for his first round of cancer treatment. Keith, he just has a great personality. I've always been big about telling my students that we're a family and that we all take care of each other. Keith's popular grandmother works here. It's tough. It's, it's so hard to see my daughter come home um, from visits and then, you know, she'll say, come on, mom, and we'll go in the bedroom and she just falls to the ground and breaks down. Having to do his schoolwork at home, Keith's sure of one thing that he misses. Playing with my friends. And tonight's fundraiser from 6.30 to 9.30 at Stowe's VFW is called Going Gold for Keith. On your side in Stowe, I'm Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. Keith has some great friends and he classmates. Does. For links to follow Keith's family's fundraising efforts, you can go to our website, newsnet5.com.